What is up everyone, Arcturus here, back again with another Genshin Impact video. And today, we are going to do a showcase on my max level look. First of all, I want to thank you to everyone that watched my last video uh, about John Lee. It hit around 1.7k. Uh, I really thank you, thank you so much for it. It really means a lot to me. And for everyone who subscribed, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, I hope you will enjoy all my future contents and uh, yeah and please enjoy the rest of this video so I just hit AR50 around a few days ago and I know that I had to level up every character in my main team and I have spent the whole week trying to level up my main DPS which is the look and I was targeting targeting to hit level 90 in a week and I had to use my Prima gems for resin uh, just to make this video faster but anyways uh, here's my max level 90 the look and I'm going to show you how well he is in every situation as possible so the first thing I'm going to do is show you his stats uh, now I have around 2242 attack uh, with 32 elemental mastery and I have around 64% of crit rate uh, and also 142% of crit damage and I also have 123% of energy recharge and lastly I have 49% of pyro damage bonus now so for the weapon I use the battle pass weapon uh, serpent spine and I have maxed it out to 90 this is not a free to play weapon and if you're looking for f for a free to play choice you might want to use prototype Aminus. it is a really really good free to play choice uh, I used it before I bought the battle pass I highly recommend this weapon if you don't want to spare your money into battle pass and if you have wolf's gravestone I really really recommend it because it is the best player in the game and or, or probably if you have the unforge it's it's kinda on par with the wolf's gravestone now for the artifacts I use a uh, four set of crimson witch of flames this set is really really made for the look you can really see it from the effects of the 4p set uh, now the 4p set will increase its two set effects every time the look casts his elemental skill by 50 percent and it can stack up to three times and the looks elemental skill really fits the four set perfectly now Let's go into individual artifacts. Now for the flower, I have attack, crit rate, and energy recharge as my substats. And I had a really good roll on the attack percentage and energy recharge. And then my feather. My feather has a really solid attack percentage too. It has around 21% on the substats. Now for the sense, uh, in my look it's not really really good but you could put attack percentage in the slot. Uh, I have a decent crit damage in here, around 11%. Now for the goblet you would want to put him with a pyro damage bonus for the main stat. Uh, I only have 4 star goblet at the moment. Uh, grinding 5 star pyro damage is really really hard, I might update it soon. I as I if I if I got a five star pyro artifact, uh, I have a really really decent crit damage in here too, around eleven percent. Now for the circlet, I use crit damage because I already have crit rate in my serpent spine, so I don't really need to put another crit rate in the slot. Uh, now, uh, if you have, if you. If you're using prototype of wolf's gravestone you might probably want to roll for crit rate and or crit damage 
uh, in your substats uh, for more better results now for the constellation I have zero constellations on my Deluke so for the talents I have now I have level 6 on my auto attack level 7 on my elemental skill and level 8 on my ultimate to prioritize which one you have to upgrade first you in my opinion you need to upgrade your ultimate first secondly your elemental skill first and then lastly your auto attack because most likely you would be using elemental skill and your ultimate most of the times because of his low cooldown and low energy cost and uh, because of that you will be always inflicting pyro damage constantly inflicting pyro damage to you to your enemy so for the party setup you might want to use a cryo unit in your team for the male i recommend you to use Kaya as a free to play option uh, he is a really, really good support for the Luke, especially in KS ult where he will constantly inflict cryo status to your opponent and his energy recharge is a very very good too and if you have Chong Yun you could use him too uh, he is also a really, really good solid support for the Luke uh, but for now I currently have Chi Chi as my cryo and healer uh, it's not it might not be as better it might not be as good as Kaya or Chong Yun but at least I could get melt with Chi Chi's skills for your second support you would like another prior unit for the double pyro resonance which is increases your attack by 25% and if you have Bennett I highly recommend you to use him to put him on your team because Bennett can buff your attack with his ult if you read in his talent description his ult buffs your attack based on his base attack uh, if your health is above 70% this is a really really good attack boost from Bennett that you can benefit from and all you really need is a really really good base attack sword uh, as for the free to play option you could use prototype rancor it has a really really high base attack you could give him energy recharge swords if you want such as Vonis or Sacrificial but they mostly have lower base attack than Prototype Rancor as you can see on my Sacrificial it only has 401 base attack uh, compared to my level 70 Prototype Rancor so if you really want to n want the numbers to go higher go for the sword that has higher base attack for the for Bennett's artifact set, you might want to use him for set of noblesse. Uh, so every time Bennett uses his ult, he will increase all party members' attack by 20%. And for each artifacts for the sense, I highly recommend you to use energy recharge. For the goblet, uh, I highly recommend you to use HP, and for the secret, uh, also HP too. Uh, I don't have any good artifacts at the moment but that is the best option that you could have uh, for now I don't have any constellations at the moment but you do, if you do have the first constellation of Bennett it's really really good it increases your buff around 20% and it has no longer an HP restriction so now let's talk about uh, how to utilize the looks passive uh, correctly now to maximize the looks dps you really, really need to use his elemental skill first in or order to activate his four piece artifact set this increases your pyro damage significantly because of the four piece set as you can see here and as you can see now i have around 49 percent of my damage bonus uh, from my goblet and to set crimson wish now if I use my elemental skill three times It will stack the buff three times too and now as you can see uh, The pyro damage bonus I have right now is at 72% because I use the elemental skill first to activate the four piece set effect and Every time you want to use his ult always remember to use his elemental skill first to increase your pyro damage bonus so now I have my ult ready and I'm going to show you how his, his second passive talent benefits 
uh, to his pyro damage increase so the first thing you want to do is to use his anti skill first to activate the power of his effect and lastly use his ult now as you can see now my Deluke has around 90% worth of pyro damage bonus coming from the 4 piece which set and the passive from his ult and also if you have a really really good energy recharge you could keep this buff going constantly in your look by spamming his E and and ult every time. Okay, so now we're done talking about the looks artifact and stats. Now let's test him out to see how great he would deal damage with the serpent spine. Uh, now we're going to test him in few domains overworld and uh, to see our maximum damage. Output. And here we go.
I think that concludes my video about showcasing my Deluxe VR. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like in this video. And if you have any opinions and thoughts, tell me what you think in the comment section below. I highly appreciate it. Subscribe too if you want more future Genshin Impact videos. Also, Dragon Spine update is coming in a few more days. I think I might upload about it soon after it releases. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video.